While two-factor authentication 2FA significantly enhances security by adding an additional layer of verification, sophisticated cyber criminals deploy advanced tools like Evil Ginks to bypass this protection. In this video, I'll expose how it's done, the mechanisms behind such attacks, and explore the tools that enable hackers to bypass 2FA, enhancing our understanding of modern cyber threats and defense strategies. This video solely focuses on the attacks carried out by hackers to compromise two-factor authentication and does not provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to execute them. Black hat hacking is highly discouraged and can result in serious legal consequences. Two-factor authentication, 2FA, adds a critical security layer, demanding users to present two distinct verification forms before accessing an online account. This could be something you know, a password, something you have, a mobile device, or something you are, biometric verification. Despite its effectiveness, 2FA is not a silver bullet to protect you from sophisticated cyber attacks, especially when tools like evil ginks come into play. So how did we got here? Phishing attacks have come a long way since their inception. Initially, they were simple, deceitful email messages designed to trick users into revealing personal information, such as passwords and credit card numbers. These early phishing attempts were often easy to spot due to poor language, generic greetings, and unconvincing email addresses. As users became more aware, and technology advanced, so did the tactics of cyber criminals. Over time, phishing attacks became increasingly sophisticated, using more convincing email templates, exploiting social engineering to a greater extent, and using personal information to target victims more effectively. This evolution was partly driven by the increasing amount of personal data available online, enabling attackers to personalize their attacks, making them more convincing. As defenses against general phishing attempts improved, attackers began to use spear phishing and whaling attacks. These are highly targeted forms of phishing aimed at specific individuals or organizations. By customizing their approach, attackers increase their chances of success, often bypassing traditional security measures that were effective against more generic phishing attempts. The widespread adoption of two-factor authentication marked a significant advancement in cybersecurity, making it much harder for attackers to gain unauthorized access to user accounts. By requiring a second form of verification, typically a code sent to the user's phone or email, 2FA added an additional layer of security that was difficult for traditional phishing attacks to penetrate. However, this changed with advanced phishing tools like Evil Ginks. This tool represents a significant evolution in phishing technology, enabling attackers to bypass 2FA by using a technique known as a man-in-the-middle attack. Evil Ginks effectively intercepts the communication between the user and the legitimate service, capturing not only the password but also the 2FA token, all without the user's knowledge. This sophisticated method of attack does not rely on exploiting vulnerabilities in the 2FA process itself, but instead deceives the user into interacting with a proxy site that looks and feels exactly like the legitimate website they intend to visit. This approach has proven effective against many types of 2FA, including SMS-based codes and app-generated tokens. So what tools do pro-hackers use for this? Evil Ginks stands out in the Cybercriminal and Security Professionals Toolkit as a man-in-the-middle proxy, sophisticated enough to intercept and capture 2FA tokens. Let's dive into how this works. This tool operates as a sophisticated reverse proxy, intercepting traffic between a user and a legitimate website without the user's knowledge. When a user attempts to access a targeted service, such as an online banking platform or email provider, Evil Ginks sits between the user and the legitimate server, acting as an intermediary. When a user enters their login credentials, username and password, into what they believe is the legitimate website, Evil Jinx captures this information in real time. The user is then seamlessly redirected to the actual legitimate website, leaving them unaware that their credentials have been compromised. Once the user successfully logs in, the legitimate website prompts them to enter their 2FA token, such as SMS code or authenticator app code. Here's where Evil Ginx's advanced capabilities shine. Instead of forwarding this token to the legitimate server, Evil Ginx intercepts it in transit. With both the user's credentials and 2FA token captured, Evil Ginx effectively gains access to the user's authenticated session on the legitimate website. This allows the attacker to fully impersonate the user and perform actions on their behalf without triggering additional security checks. This tool's strength lies in its ability to seamlessly redirect users to the legitimate website after capturing their credentials and 2FA token. This creates a convincing and uninterrupted user experience, making it extremely difficult for users to detect that they have fallen victim to a phishing attack. Phishing with precision. 
cyber criminals craft highly convincing phishing sites that mirror legitimate services, deceiving users into entering login details. Once a user interacts with these sites, Evil Jinx captures both their passwords and 2FA tokens. This method's sophistication lies in its ability to bypass user awareness and standard security advisories that caution against entering sensitive information on suspicious sites. Session Cookies Theft Post capture of the 2FA token and password, Evil Jinx targets session cookies. These cookies are crucial as they maintain the user's session state across web requests. By stealing these, an attacker bypasses 2FA protections, gaining unauthorized access by acting as the legitimate user. Advanced Persistence Typically, 2FA tokens are designed to expire after a short duration for security reasons. However, session cookies offer a more prolonged access window to the attacker. This persistence enables ongoing access to the victim's account, facilitating a range of malicious activities, from fraud to extensive data theft. Imagine a scenario where a high-level executive receives an email linking to what seems to be their corporate email login page. Unknown to them, this page is controlled by an attacker that's using evil jinx. Entering their credentials here would not just compromise their login details, but also the 2FA code once it's entered, giving attackers unfettered access to sensitive corporate data. Another powerful tool used is Modlishka. It amplifies the threat landscape with its capability to automate phishing attacks and navigate around various 2FA types. Its flexible and dynamic nature makes it a preferred tool for attackers looking to customize their approach based on the target security measures. The cybercriminal community frequently shares knowledge and tools, enabling even less technically skilled attackers to customize existing open source projects for specific attacks. This ecosystem facilitates the continuous evolution and adaptation of attack methodologies, presenting an ever-moving target for cybersecurity defenses. Awareness and advanced security measures stand as the primary defense against the sophisticated techniques employed by tools like Evil Jinx and Modlishka, informing users about the nuances of phishing attacks and the importance of scrutinizing website URLs before entering login details is crucial. Deploying hardware tokens for 2FA introduces a physical element that is significantly more challenging for attackers to intercept. The dynamic nature of cyber threats necessitates regular reviews and updates of security protocols ensuring defenses remain effective against new and evolving tactics. When discussing how to defend against 2FA bypass attacks, it's crucial to include the role of service providers. They play a key part in safeguarding users by identifying and blocking suspicious login attempts. Service providers can use advanced systems to watch for login attempts that seem out of the ordinary. This could be someone trying to log in from a new device or location that doesn't match the user's history. By spotting these attempts early, Providers can take steps to verify the user's identity before allowing access. A simple yet effective strategy is limiting the number of login attempts. If someone keeps entering the wrong password or 2FA code, it might be a sign of a hacking attempt. Temporarily locking the account after several failed tries can stop hackers in their tracks, giving the real user time to secure their account. Using tools that can detect and flag the use of known phishing domains helps in preemptively blocking login attempts from these suspicious sources. This can greatly reduce the success rate of phishing attacks aimed at stealing 2FA codes. Whenever there's a login attempt under unusual circumstances, service providers can alert the user through multiple channels, email, text message, or app notifications. Users can quickly respond if they didn't initiate the login attempt, adding an extra layer of security.